Hi everyone, this video is going to give you a little bit of a tour through the Pilot Edge website. And now it's going to be a little bit more of just a navigational tour. It's going to be more of a what can you do with Pilot Edge and what kind of resources are available to you within the Pilot Edge website. We get a lot of questions asked about these things and so we just wanted to make a video to demonstrate everything for new users or maybe existing users who might not be familiar with all the different things that Pilot Edge has to offer. If you are a new user and you haven't started your free trial yet, be sure to go to the website and click the Join Now button and that'll prompt you through the steps to begin your free trial. Once you've created an account and you're logged into the website, denoted here by showing your account center and the sign out button, that means you're logged in. The first thing we're gonna highlight is the about tab and the operating hours and service area. We get a lot of questions about when ATC is online and what airports and airspace we cover. And that's all explained here. So you can check this page out and even scroll down to see a map in order to see the graphical display of what is covered. The next thing we're going to highlight under the About tab is Pricing and Plans. This page simply outlines the pricing and the different plans available to you through Pilot Edge. You'll notice there are monthly and annual plans. The annual plans will save you some money over the course of the year, and you'll only be billed once a year. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you only choose the Los Angeles Center plan and you'd like to switch to the Western Expansion plan, be it a lateral move, you can only make that lateral move at the end of your billing cycle. So if you're signing up for an annual plan, you're going to be locked into that one airspace, be it Los Angeles Center or the Western Expansion airspace, for an entire year. Now the exception to that is if you'd like to upgrade to the combined subscription, that is the Los Angeles Center and Western Expansion, you can do that at any time. But to make a lateral move, it has to be at the end of your billing cycle. The last thing I'll point out here is the overflight. We get some questions about that. That's if you have the Western Expansion Package and you want to fly from, for instance, Phoenix up to San Francisco. You don't have to take the scenic route. They actually allow you to fly 13,000 and above right over ZLA, right over Los Angeles Center's airspace to cut right through it, even though you don't have that subscription package for LA Center, but you cannot go below 13,000 or it will disconnect you. The next thing we'll highlight is going to be the Pilot Center. The Pilot Center is going to be your main go-to for everything Pilot Edge. In fact, there's even a whole section here for those of you who are new to Pilot Edge. And we'll start with the Getting Started page here. This explains all the basics of the network. It's a good quick read. And then we go back under the Pilot Center. The Download Software page is just where you're going to get your software. You can find other YouTube videos to help you to install those. And then your first flight. Uh, this is our recommended first flight for those of you who may be new to ATC within flight simulators or even just new to flight simulators. This is a very easy first flight from a non-towered airport into a simple class delta airport, just a VFR flight, and we recommend a small single engine piston aircraft. And there's even a YouTube video down at the bottom of the page. You can actually watch someone else do it before you do it in order to have some good ideas of what to expect. Additionally, there's a script here that tells you what kind of radio calls to make and what you can expect to hear back from ATC. Keep in mind, whenever you see a script like this, that the network is completely dynamic. And for instance, in the script, it says runway 27. But if the wind is favoring runway 9 that day, you can expect runway 9. The next pages we're going to look at are the training program. The training program within Pilot Edge is actually included in every membership. And in fact, even on a free trial, you can experience a training program. The training program consists of CAT ratings and I ratings. CAT stands for Communications and Airspace Training, and I stands for IFR. The training program is not required, and again, it's at no extra cost, but it's a very popular program for many of our users, and we'd encourage you to check it out because we think you'll learn something even if you're a seasoned pilot. Start by looking at the program overview. That just explains the ratings in general, and from there you can navigate to the CAT ratings, the CAT, Communication and Airspace Training, Ratings 1 through 11 will take you all through the basics of VFR flight from a non-towered to a non-towered flight all the way through VFR transitions through a Bravo airspace to even a VFR flight from a Bravo to a Bravo. We navigate back and we can check out the I ratings, once again the IFR ratings. This will begin at a simple round robin IFR with an ILS approach to Orange County Airport and it leads up and takes you all the way to a DME ARC approach. Now, all the ratings do have to be flown in sequential order. However, the CAT ratings are not a prerequisite for the I rating. So if you're working on an instrument ticket or you already have a, your PPL and your IFR ticket and you're just looking to stay proficient in IFR flying, you can hop right to the I ratings. One other thing to check out while you're here is the Alphabet Challenges. The Alphabet Challenges are great for anyone who's already done the CAT ratings or the I ratings and it's just looking for something a little bit extra. 
Unlike the cat in the eye ratings, the alphabet challenges don't provide any sort of pass or fail grade. It's merely just an accomplishment of doing them. But you'll see with the ZLA and Western US challenges here, we can click on the ZLA for instance, and it links to myflightroute.com, which is also a terrific tool for the Pilot Edge network. The alphabet challenges begin at an airport associated with the letter A, goes all the way through an airport with the letter Z associated with it, and then furthermore, zero through nine. Throughout the 35 legs, you'll get a very thorough tour of all the airspace, and you'll experience different airports and procedures that you never would have experienced if you didn't have an itinerary to take you there. The alphabet challenge is all about what you want to make it. If you want to fly at VFR, IFR, if you want to shoot an instrument approach, or just not talk to anyone. In fact, a lot of these airports don't even have a control tower. It's an uncontrolled to an uncontrolled flight, and you don't have to talk to anyone along the way, or you can get flight following or make it an IFR flight. The purpose of the alphabet challenge is to give you an itinerary and really make it your own. Get out of it what you put into it. Now, one last thing I'll point out while we're here, a critical page that you need to take a look at prior to taking any of the CAT or any of the I ratings is the taking the test page. This page will explain how to actually take the test. And the reason this is important is because you don't want to fly the rating and get to the end and realize that you didn't get credit for it. So make sure you read through these bullet points very carefully and follow the steps outlined on this page so that the air traffic controller can grade you accordingly and you can get credit for your rating flown. If you don't follow these steps, you run the risk of flying the rating without any credit. Now going back up to the pilot center, another thing I wanna point out is the sky high charters. This is for those of you who have finished all the I ratings, that is the IFR ratings, and the IFR ratings are a prerequisite to the sky high charters. You'll see those right down here under participation requirements for the sky high ratings. The Sky High Charter ratings are not so much a learning set of ratings like you would be familiar with in the CAT and the I ratings that you would do previous to this, but this is more a stay proficient set of ratings. It'll really test your proficiency and it has a lot of great procedures picked out from some really challenging NDB approaches to just some very interesting SIDs and stars and some really unique airports throughout the airspace that Pilot Edge covers. We encourage you to remember about the Sky High Charter ratings and check it out once you're done with the I ratings. We can return back to the Pilot Center and under the supplemental programs, you'll find some free training workshops. Again, just some free training material that's all included with your account. These are actually just a collection of YouTube videos available to anyone online that take you all the way from the basics of VFR down through IFR and DME ARC approaches. Very similar actually to the CAT and the I ratings that we talked about, but this is more of a classroom environment with a presentation, PowerPoint, and visuals for those of you who are really looking to dive deep into certain aspects of flight. Returning back to the Pilot Center, you'll find remote coaching. You can actually get a CFI to connect virtually to your cockpit through screen share software, and they will help coach you through whatever type of flying you're looking to do, whether it's just a simple VFR pattern or an ILS approach or something more. You can get a licensed CFI to sit with you and help you throughout your flight. Now keep in mind you can't log any of this as actual student time, and this is one of the few things that's not included with your piloted subscription. It is additional. So you can select that link to learn more. Some additional supplemental programs include the Real World IFR, VFR, and Coast to Coast. These are all videos shot by Pilot Edge's founder, Keith Smith, in collaboration with PilotWorkshop.com. These are great videos to see actual flights across the country and in certain IFR and VFR conditions that will really focus on certain aspects of flying. Beneath those, you have the IFR and VFR communication manuals. Now with these and the real world IFR, VFR, and coast to coast, these are an additional cost to your normal pilot ed subscription. But the IFR and VFR communication manuals are books, and these books include all different types of information on ATC communications, both VFR and IFR, what you need to say, and what you can expect to hear back from ATC. This is great for those of you who maybe are really not familiar with ATC communications at all, or especially those who might be aviation English students and trying to learn what needs to be said on the radio. The last several things you'll find under the Pilot Center are located under Pilot Resources. You'll notice the File a Flight Plan option. We can select that and that'll instantly take you to the Flight Plan Filing area. This is where every flight plan must be filed prior to beginning your flight. In addition, you'll see a quick link to the Flight Plan Filing up here in the top right of your screen and that's always there for you regardless of what page you're on. Back up to the Pilot Center, you can check the ATIS right from the website or you can listen to it within your simulator, whichever you prefer is fine. Audio recordings here, nearly all audio recordings from the radios are recorded for 90 days and they're stored right here on the Pilot Edge website. That means after a flight, you can visit this page and listen to how you sound on the radios 
and maybe you can get clarification on something that ATC said and you weren't quite sure what they were talking about, you can hear it afterwards in the audio recordings. You'll notice the audio recordings are also crystal clear without any radio distortion and any silences are automatically extracted out of the audio file, so whichever audio you're searching for will simply be a straight clip of communications rather than having to sit through all the downtime. Next, check out the live map, and you'll see all the airplanes that are currently connected to the network. You can click on the airplane to see the call sign and all the other important information about that flight. Lastly, Discord chat is a great way to stay up to date with the pilotage community. While we also have forums under the community tab up at the top, you can access Discord using the instructions on this page. And Discord allows you to communicate with the Pilot Edge community, whether you just want to say hi or you have a specific question about the network, flying, etc. The Pilot Edge community is incredibly active on Discord, and you can get almost any question answered within just minutes. Well, those are the basics. Pilot Edge awaits you, and we look forward to seeing you on the network. Be sure to follow Pilot Edge on all social media channels at Pilot Edge ATC to stay up to date on the latest and greatest. We'll see you soon.